So, I've added a few things, basically a few checks if the chunk is null or if uh, y is higher than zero. That's for now because we only have one floor. But let's say oh, inside our chunk, okay, everything stays the same. But on player interactions, if you actually have a block, then you are going to create the cube. Okay, let's do some changes though. And let's say I don't want this anymore. And I don't want this to happen whenever we click. When only when we click. So I'm going to just create a visualizer. So let's just get a transform for now. Visualizer. Okay, let's ignore this entirely. And we want to have the mouse position. These are, of course, are a little bit dirty right now. We are going to create, do it and make proper managers and all that. Okay, we don't need any, any, anything from here. Anything else, I mean. Okay, so we have our mouse position. Then we want to have a block. So let's call this current block. And then this is going to be finding the block. Okay. Current block, current block. Okay. And actually, no, let's say block, block. Get this over here. Okay. Then if block is not equal to null, then the current block is going to be our own block. Okay, so what I want now is on my current block to basically just create, we can delete this and say void visualize position. So if current block is not equals null, then visualizer dot transfer dot position will be current block dot wall position plus let's just add the vector three dot position. Vector three dot one actually. Okay, and just drag and drop this inside update. This is just for now, so that we can actually take a look at what we are actually doing. I'm going to add a new game object. Let's just add a sphere. I'm going to remove the sphere collider and we can create a new material with a fade. Okay, lower it, make it something like that. Okay, and we can also give it some emission or something. Okay, and we can raise the intensity. So this will be the visualizer now. And then on my wall generator, on my player direction, just drag and drop that and click play. Okay, and with this, we know exactly where we want to click or select, etc, etc. Et we can also see where there is problematic areas. That has to do with, you know, rounding or flooring the, the integers. We, yeah, they're not really that much of a problem at the moment. But we should fix those at some point. Okay, now let's create our first unit. For now, it's just going to be a capsule, however, and I think for the visualizer, we forgot to assign the material. Uh, let's rename this to fade. Okay, okay, so this guy is going to be our first unit. Let's delete the capsule collider, we don't need him, and then inside our world generation 
I'm going to go and add uh, actually inside our world and just for now I'm going to elapse everything and I'm going to go and create a public transform unit so load mesh data if this is the first one so I'm just going to do some hack job for now and say if not is unit placed is unit placed equals true and then we need to we need a chunk from all of this from inside the these ones we actually need a block of the chunk so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go on to my chunk chunk and I'm going to say public block get first solid block so block result null return result all these are mostly for getting uh, yeah for creating the the game loop to be honest so we're going to do max x max y and z max z so if grid x y z not equals null then return grid x y z otherwise return null which that should probably never happen okay and we can delete this okay okay then on to the world if the first unit is placed then get me the first solid block from this chunk and place the unit the transfer the position will be p dot world position plus vector three dot up okay that's for placing our first unit we need to assign the first unit obviously so let's freeze and on the world generator just drag and drop the unit in here click play okay and we see that on the first block we do have our unit let's finish this part in here we still have a lot to do on the next one we're going to start writing again our pathfinding Okay, so we're going to do a star. In any case, as always, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and if you like to see more videos like this, then consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things. I'll see you next time.